you feel slighted by your bid? Do you feel like it was fair? Like, how do you look at, like, the judicial system now that you actually been through it firsthand? Do you feel like you got what you deserve? Do you feel like 10 years is too harsh? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel about it? It was definitely harsh. You know, you have a gang of people that's in there who don't deserve to be in there. Yeah. Then you got a gang of people in there and stuff that just... You blown there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It really, you know what I'm saying? I used to think that that's not for no man, you yeah. know? But depending on what you did, you got to go somewhere. Yeah, if yeah, If don't yeah. If don't nobody kill you, there's a place for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, but you got some pretty good guys, man, that's locked behind the walls that'll never see daylight, man. Man. You never based see off daylight. A mistake been, or based off their mistake or based off the judicial both. system? Both, yeah. mostly the system, but then again, by design. Yeah. By design, you know, we're created to go downhill. Yeah. Because when you're in the slummed out area, you're not going to just settle for I'm hungry. You're going to do what you got to do. Yeah. You're going to go out and hustle. You're going to grind. You're going to rob. You're going to steal. You're going to do something. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going to accept drugs and you're going to hustle. But it was all placed here for that reason. They stopped lack of opportunities. Yeah. yeah. I you just know what I'm saying? Argument it's yesterday. one big old pot of gumbo, man, that yeah. they mix up. And it come all the way back from the Willie Lynch Syndrome. If yeah. we just throw the pot one time, we ain't got to stir it no more. They'll keep it going. Yep, I agree. Man, I totally agree. And that's the best way that I heard it explained. Because I just had this argument with somebody yesterday. I said, somebody growing up in DeSoto experience as a black man going to be different than somebody that grew up in Pleasant Grove. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be a totally True. different experience. True. Cause, but you would think as a black person, everybody got the same opportunities if you grew up in a better neighborhood. Your mindset going to look at a other black person, why he can't do what I'm doing? Not realizing he got a lack of opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Lack of opportunity. And was you rapping before you went in or did, did that develop? Yeah, I was place? rapping before I went in. Okay. You know, I actually, I don't want to really get into too much of that because of the gallery cheats of yeah. the situation. But, yeah, yeah. you know, I was up under no limit. Okay. Certain situations happened, got blackballed, so we gonna move on from that. Yeah. But, um... And that's another thing that made me turn to the streets because if you can't eat the way you want to eat, you eat how you have to eat. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that. And then, like, how do you feel like the biggest changes from like when you went in to now? Like, right? what's the biggest changes from ten years ago to now? Because I know the Man. internet was pretty much just kind of brewing around. You know what? I'm, I'm still learning. I'm yeah, still yeah, yeah. learning everything from Facebooks to. All these different websites, I'm still learning, man. Yeah. You know, everybody typing, picking, and doing all cell this phones, series, cell right phones and stuff. When I came out, it was like the Walking Dead. I'm tripping. I'm looking at people talking, but no phone in their hand. Not knowing what a blue oh, piece. Bluetooth. Yeah. yeah, Bluetooth was. You know, I'm tripping. I'm <laughs> yeah. looking at stuff I'm like, man, this bitch talking to herself. Like, yeah, exactly. Fuck? Yeah. You know, everything was. New. It's just new to me. You yeah. know, and you know, niggas used to grind real hard yeah. back then. Before I went in, yep. you know, you had your slab riders out here, the dope boys and shit, yep. everybody hustling just to show off that that, that trophy, that yep. nice piece. Yeah. Now it seemed like the women got the bag. Man. The yep. women got the bag, bro. I'm, I'm sitting up there looking at this firsthand, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Because women got a lot of opportunities. They using niggas. They using their bodies. You know what I'm saying? They got more platforms to get money on. And shit, everybody just want a bad bitch. I think they are the trophies. The slabs that you seen, the bad bitches are the trophies now, I would think. The internet is the show off place. So, exactly. if, if you got you a bitch, it's pretty much looking better than being better. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, I think that's kind of like probably the biggest change that like what you speaking of. Because there was really no internet before you, you know what I'm saying? Like 2010, 2009, there was no Man, internet. Was still my space out there. Exactly. And at the most moco space is all you ever heard of. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah, black me coming out to all this, yeah, Black Planet. So you coming yeah. out to all this, asking why all that, and they're like, what's that? Exactly. What's that? So it making me feel like a dinosaur, bro. Yeah, man.